just like a foam. A grass verge, it's dark, it's pitch black, it's, it's late on in the evening. And you just see shapes dressed in black running towards you and you know what they're going to do. There was, there was probably 100 youths and they were throwing anything that they could get their hands on. People with machetes, golf clubs, wheelie bins on fire, bottles that are set alight. Everything that could be found, that could be thrown, as it was thrown at us. Fridge freezer that we pulled out of a shop. Gardens were being stripped, walls were being broken up because they'd, they'd run out of missiles. I was knocked unconscious. I fell to my knees, fell forward. I mean, literally the lights went out. I saw stars. And the next thing I remember was being hauled up back onto my feet by two officers either side of me. There was no other option but to carry on. They come to my sergeant's window, a paving slab went at the window, and I, I thought the window was going through, there's no two ways about it. I thought she's going to get seriously hurt. A brick had actually come through the window. My colleague was holding a kind of handle to try and keep his door shut. He then screamed, I'm being attacked. This machete had just appeared through this hole in the window and it just started hacking at his hand. We got a call on the way that an officer was captured in a burning car and this officer was calling for help. We had to make a decision of whether to go forward and assist that officer, leaving the rear quite vulnerable. We got up to the car and we found that the rioter had actually got hold of one of our rages and was trying to suck us in. How long was this going to go on for? You remember back to the training you get and listen for the commands of the sergeants and the officers in charge. It's the, the most hostile, aggressive crowd dynamic that I've ever come across. For the first time in my career, I actually thought we'd lost control completely. We were just sitting targets. We were outnumbered. We had to back off because we just couldn't compete with the like, level of violence and the, number, the sheer numbers of people on our own. The decision was made. The safest way for us to be was to get back in the carriers. Everyone shouting, drive, drive, just let's get out of here. I've never been involved in anything like that before. You work for the police, you expect to come across violence, but I've never experienced it on that level before. I pray to God I never see anything like it again. I was just a gibbering mess because you've still got the adrenaline which is still kicking in but that's slowly dying down and then the, the reality of what's happened overnight hits you. I'd been awake for over 24 hours. I'd only had one proper meal and the adrenaline had kept me going and I got home and just pretty much fell apart. But I'd been told that I needed to be back in work for 7pm. I think we did the best we could do. We are just your normal police officers. If you have your car window smashed then you'll phone us and I'll turn up and then to be put into the right situation. But I think we did the best we could.